Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into Notion alternatives. Some of these alternatives are better for personal use, others are better as a team and work more as a project manager. And I'm going to cover a few alternatives. There are of course more out there but I might end up just doing a part two if people want to see more alternatives. So if you would like to see more Notion alternatives, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will make it happen as soon as I can. But let's now jump into the first one. This is Obsidian. You might already know about it. This is more of a pure note-taking app. It has a plugin ecosystem, which means that you can customize it almost as much as you want. With these plugins, you can create databases, you can uh, manage your tasks, you can have things like calendars inside of here. So there are a lot of things you can do. Uh, what's most important about uh, Obsidian is that it is much faster in the Notion because everything is local. So it is stored on your device. It is stored on your device, uh, on your computer, and you can easily find the markdown files. And you, that means also that you actually own your files. It means that uh, no one can take those files away from you. Uh, if the app disappears, you will still have all of the files right there. That's why people love this application, because of privacy and owning your own data. That's one of the main reasons why people originally moved from Notion to something like Obsidian. So this is a great choice mainly, I would say, as more of a note-taking application. It can become more of a more of a project manager using all of the plugins but i would say that this is probably the best one for like personal note taking and just linking your notes and your ideas together it has a learning curve to it but it also has a lot of great youtube videos you can check out to learn the application so this is obsidian and it is probably one of the best note takings like pure note taking apps out there this is probably top top tier next up we have a similar one and this is actually called anytype anytype is a great application but the main problem with anytype is that it is um it is in its earliest stage so it recently like back in may came out of the alpha stage and went into beta stage but um it has some bugs. That's what it mainly means. Uh, being in such an early stage means that it has bugs. Like right now for a couple of days, I haven't been able to use or, or open the application. I need to uh, delete it and download it again. Uh, but uh, this is also really, really privacy focused, but it has more of the feel and look of Notion. So think of Notion and Obsidian just combined together where you have all of your files locally but uh, it looks a lot more like Notion. It doesn't have the same plugin ecosystem as, um, as Obsidian has but it has the databases. It is also object based which means that everything you create inside of this is an object which is something I know a lot of people do like and enjoy having uh, objects as a way to take notes uh, but it comes with a huge learning curve and it doesn't have the same amount of videos uh, as Notion or Obsidian has. I've made quite a few videos on any type myself uh, but it still has like a huge learning curve. There aren't enough videos so if you for example, don't like my voice or don't like how I speak English. Uh, any type doesn't have many others making videos, uh, tutorial videos. There are three, four, five people probably doing in-depth tutorials on any type. It might be more uh, by the time you watch this YouTube video, but I have a bunch. So if you're looking to try out this application, um, do check out my channel there are quite a few any type videos what's great about any type is that you get the feel of notion 
while uh, having the privacy of something like Obsidian. Only you can access uh, your files inside of uh, any type. And where Obsidian struggles a bit with collaboration, this actually does a much better job. You can actually have real-time collaboration inside of uh, any type. Uh, so that's what uh, any type offers that Obsidian does not. But on the other hand, this comes with a different pricing plan. So Obsidian is mainly free uh, unless you pay for the sync, but you also have the uh, possibility to use third party sync. So you could use things like iCloud Drive to actually sync your files between your different devices. That's actually what I personally did, but you can uh, also pay for the syncing plan. This is a little different. You have the Explorer plan, which allows you to sync your devices, get backup storage and collaborate in small groups, which means three shared spaces and three editors per shared space and one gigabyte of network space. space sorry. The Builder plan uh, gives you your own unique name, 128 gigs of network space, three shared spaces, 10 editors per shared space, unlimited viewers per shared space and priority support. You also have the co-creator plan, which is basically the builder plan, but for three years, 299 for three years. Here you get a little more or actually double uh, of the network space. But apart from that, they are quite similar. So that's the pricing plan of uh, any type. Next one is Microsoft Loop and Microsoft Loop seems to look different every time I try it out. I've been away from my uh, day job for three weeks now and it looks completely different from uh, where it was just three weeks ago. So I use this uh, in my day job. I don't use this at all uh, as my uh, or on uh, my personal time, uh, I don't like it. Uh, I think it is, uh, the problem with this is that it doesn't quite know what it wants to be yet. But if you are on the Microsoft, uh, in the Microsoft ecosystem, so if you use things like OneNote, you have uh, Microsoft Copilot, uh, you use Microsoft Word and everything is inside of the Microsoft ecosystem. Even if you use things like Planner, this might be the perfect application for you. Not necessarily because of Microsoft Loop, but because of Microsoft uh, Loop components. That's like the main thing. And I will do a more in-depth video on that later. But basically the way this works is that everything can be a loop component, which you can share across all of the Microsoft applications. Uh, so if you work in a team and uh, one of the members of the team prefers to work in Microsoft Teams, while you might prefer to work in Microsoft Loop and someone might prefer to work in, um, in um, Microsoft uh, Word, they can actually do that and everything will be synced and you can have it centralized in a Microsoft loop. But this is like really similar to Notion. You have pages with sub pages, you have uh, collapsible headings, uh, boards and databases, which I know that a lot of people do love. So you can create Kanban boards like this, or you can just use Microsoft Planner inside of here a lot of possibilities. So you have the databases which Notion are really uh, known for. And this is quite clearly modeled off of Notion. So it looks really similar, but uh, it's, it is best if you are in the Microsoft ecosystem. Pricing wise, this uh, is a part of the Microsoft uh, ecosystem and the Microsoft plans. And Microsoft isn't clear yet on the exact pricing of this because still early stages they are still figuring it out. Now it is time for X-Tiles and X-Tiles is a fun application. I really like this. Imagine Notion but imagine a visual version of Notion. That's what X-Tiles is trying to be. So you have a, a way to take notes right here, but you can actually also have databases inside of here. So let me see if I can find one of my databases. Uh, table 
right here. So here you have the table view, you have the board view and you have the gallery view. Uh, but I can also jump into my home page and actually create a note like this, a tile where I can write things. And you have the basic things you would expect in a note taking app like backlinking, markdown support, the ability to add documents is also inside of here. This has more of a project management bent toward, uh, towards it. It feels more like a real project management application more than a note taking application. You have a way to see all of your tasks. You have a calendar right here as well. Um, and you have a bunch of templates you can use. This also has a learning curve to it, but where this shines is that it takes more of a visual approach. So if you are a visual person and you're looking for a Notion-like application, this might be a great option for you. But if you're not looking for a Notion-like application and you are a visual person, I would consider something like Melanote. But this is also clearly modeled off of Notion, but they have another way to do things when it comes to the visual aspect of this, but the database structure and just uh, how um, the databases work uh, with uh, everything else inside of the application reminds me very much of Notion. You have the ability to add different properties, even an image property, create a time, you can add files, you can actually relate things together. So uh, this is an amazing application if you are a visual learner or a, a visual project manager and um, you also want the databases right here. And it is also great because they are doing a great job at developing this application. I uh, think that this is one of the applications that develops the fastest, at least for the last year or two. It looked completely different two years ago. Had a completely different uh, pricing structure. It didn't have all of the databases it does now, and it is much better now than it was back then. Pricing-wise, this will set you back $5 a month um, if you go for the pro plan, but you get unlimited blocks and projects uh, on the uh, free plan as well, and you get team spaces with only three uh, members, uh, five pages per project, three spaces, invite 10 guests. So a really great free plan, but you can also pay for the uh, pay for the pro plan. This is five dollars per month per user uh, for the annual one. And um, for the monthly plan, they actually just offer the plus plan which is a little weird uh, that they don't offer a, a starter plan there. But here you get advanced color option, timeline view, uh, unlimited team spaces, unlimited guests. So the difference here is that I would say this is more for like team project management. While uh, if you are just going to take notes and you are going to use this as one single person who do, who who does not run a business. I've had such a long day and my voice is giving up on me, but uh, if you are not running a business and you just want a way to structure your life better, uh, the free plan will get you anywhere you want. So recommending the free plan unless you actually need some of this specifically. Last application on the list is actually ClickUp and ClickUp is uh, one I actually use um, and I have used in the past as well. But as soon as I uh, started collaborating with a team and having people helping me with doing um, all of the tasks around this YouTube channel and I'm also uh, launching a website quite soon. So there is a lot to do having. Uh, everything centralized in uh, ClickUp has been amazing for uh, me and uh, the people I work with. Uh, so here you have uh, the ability to take notes inside of Docs. I just want to add that Docs isn't too good inside of, uh, inside of um, ClickUp. It isn't the best place to take notes. You will... Uh, 
you will probably not enjoy uh, the note taking process inside of uh, ClickUp. That's not where it shines. Where ClickUp actually shines is with its lists and uh, and uh, task management. So you have a bunch of views. And when I say a bunch, I like really mean a bunch of views. Everything from lists to Gantt charts, calendar, doc, board, table, for. There is just too many views inside of this. You have the ability to embed things as well. I really like the Figma embed as well as the Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Calendar. Uh, that's what I mainly use. I also use Figma a lot, both personally and at work, actually. Uh, that's one of the reasons I decided to go and use uh, ClickUp. Another reason is its pricing. So you get a full on project manage, uh, manager that can help you uh, both to organize your life, but also to organize your business like I do. But I've seen a lot of people use this as a notion alternative to take notes and use this these lists as databases because that's what they are. They are basically databases. You even have things like formulas inside of here and relationships as well. Uh, so quite similar to uh, Notion databases. They also have a Notion import, as you can see right here. You can actually remove these. I haven't done it yet. Pricing wise, you have an unlimited plan, which gives you unlimited storage, unlimited spaces, unlimited custom fields, unlimited Gantt charts, time tracking, and AI comp compatibility. Uh -huh. A word I struggle to pronounce, uh, but uh, this costs you seven dollars per member per month. Uh, I have the free forever plan, which gives me a hundred uh, megabytes of storage. Uh, I haven't used any yet, uh, so you can actually get far with the free plan as well. Um, this is monthly. Uh, this is yearly. If you pay monthly, this will set you back. Ten dollars. Uh, this gives you the business plan. Gives you unlimited teams, private docs, team sheets, unlimited dashboards with advanced widgets. So more tailored towards businesses, as it says right here. Uh, but you will get far on the free plan, especially if you are um, if you are uh, just one person. Uh, and you are going to use this for yourself. The free plan is more than enough. This allows you five spaces and a hundred megabytes of uh, storage and everything you would need to uh, actually uh, run your life. Spaces are these you see right here. I have three of them right now. I have admin, social media, and design. If I ever were to need more, I would... Uh, probably end up paying for the yearly plan. But as of right now, uh, I am using the free plan and the pricing is one of the reasons why I choose uh, to use ClickUp as my project manager uh, because I've quite recently uh, started ha having a team. Uh, so this is actually something I started using today. Uh, or setting up today. I have used it a lot in the past. But that's uh, my favorite Notion alternatives for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.